The way I got to, in the industry was that I used to work Friday evening, Saturday, fr I'm sorry, Thursday evening, Friday evenings, and all day Saturday and Sunday. And my job was scooping ice cream or making coffee for the local guys in Georgetown. And one day, um, I got to know the guys that worked at Bridges of Georgetown, one of the, the sales guys. And Bridges of Georgetown was like a small Barney's. It was an expensive men's store. And one day I just asked the guy, do you guys need a stock boy? And they said, yeah, we do. Quickly put down the scoop of ice cream, <laughs> went over, interviewed, and got the job as a stock boy. Are you looking for the stock boy in that particular store, or was it just... Stock boy in that particular store. So you actually wanted to work. I didn't know no other store. That was the men's store. And the, by the way these guys came in dressed every day, I wanted to be part of that. Understood. That, that was my inspiration. Like, I looked at them like, look at the way these guys are dressed. Jesus. You know, it's so important because it's this common theme. Every time we do an interview and you're touching on it, everybody in some way, shape, or form always says you just have to get in the door. It's not, yeah. you know, about the position. Yeah. Right. It's, it's right. get in however you right. can, whether it's right. internship. Yeah. In your case, it's stock board. Right. So you're saying, hey, I had a job. I'm scooping right. ice cream. Right. But... I'm within eye right. shot of a store right. where I see, you know, men mm -hmm. dressed right. like they're about something. Right. And I, I knew I just needed to get in. I think sometimes we have to humble ourselves to take that first step. And, and someone told me years ago, a lot of people like to take the elevator before they take the steps. And I didn't, I didn't know. I just wanted to do something. I just wanted to keep moving. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to keep moving. That's what I did. Nice. So stock boy. And... At that moment, I wanted to be in the fashion industry. So being a stock boy in an expensive store like that, you can learn yourself. So you take the extra time to know what kind of fabric they're selling, to know how shoes are made, to know how ties are made, where the silks from, where the fabrics come from in Italy. You take your time to learn all these things. No one taught me this. Really? I learned it on my own in the store being a stock boy. Okay, so you're young at this time. Was it the store? When you got bit by the fashion bug, or was it always in you? Even though you came from humble beginnings, yeah. were you always a sharp dresser? I, listen, back then I listened to Michael Jackson. I liked the way Michael Jackson, <laughs> Jackson 5 dress. So that was like in Soul Train. So mm -hmm. you looked at that, and that was, your, that was really your fashion inspiration. There was nothing else. So I think it was just um, I was in an environment that taught me all about $2,000 suits and taught me about $800 shoes and taught me about thousand dollar watches wow. and who wouldn't want to embrace and learn uh, why these things are of that nature of that cost how mm -hmm. do they get there how do they get made why is that shirt two hundred dollars what what is the fabric about how's the buttons made so that fascinated you yeah oh obviously. absolutely yeah. absolutely what's up guys thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video truly appreciate you if you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.